Let's rig it today and what? Some ugly yet beautiful feet. I mean, look at that. If you suffer from podophobia, I'm not sure this is for you. So we are going to build a simple but effective foot rig using a ball river setup in Control Rig. Foot rigs can often get messy or overly complex, so I decided to create a cleaner and easier version just for you. Let's dive in. First of all, I had an absolute blast modeling these ugly feet. I thought, what could be the perfect model to illustrate today's video? And of course, I remember this beautiful SpongeBob style foot. I used a bit of ZBrush, Blender and Substance Painter to get exactly what I wanted out of this simple little model. So what's the context here? If you pay attention to most rigs in general, you will usually see a specific setup on the feet, often called a reverse foot. Besides the standard Ike logic, it gives you extra controls like the ball pivot, letting you push your poses further and build more advanced animation scenarios. The downside? These setups are often quite complex. Take Manny's rig for example. You can dive into the reverse section and you'll find a full advanced system. From ball roll to heel manipulation, everything is there. And building on that, Epic also created the foot module, which brings the same logic but wrapped with useful metatata so it works seamlessly inside modular control rig. So today, let's build together a simple but effective reverse foot setup. Let's start with the skeletal mesh. I kept things very basic here. Just the essential bones to drive an IK setup, plus a simple ball joint right before the toes. Now let's jump into control rig and start building the rig logic. The first thing we need is a classic IK setup the pole vector and the effector control. Take your time to place everything properly. Give them the shapes you want and focus on one leg for now. I began with simple root control, but you can parent all the upcoming logic under any control you want. The pole vector goes on the side and all the logic will be built inside the IK control. Remember, control rig relies heavily on execution order. So understanding how your hierarchy flows is key. The goal here is to allow IK and reverse foots logic to coexist, and that's all about getting the execution order right. Now inside the IK control, let's create the additional controls and nulls we'll need. Starting from the foot bone and staying inside the IK control, we'll create a null that will act as the effector for the IK. I'm using a null here, but you could totally use a control if you prefer. The idea is to introduce an extra item that will drive the primary IK. That way the IK control itself stays available because the parenting logic will apply, won't affect the control directly. Always keep this in mind. When you need to constrain a control, having a parent control or a null above it is incredibly helpful. It allows you to distribute constraints cleanly without locking or breaking the targeted control. Next, starting from the ball bone and still nested inside the IK control, we'll create a null followed by a ball control. This control is what we'll use to lift and rotate the entire IK setup. Finally, we can add a tip control, which will let us bind those independently from the rest of the foot, and this is super useful for fine-tuning poses. Once we're happy with the control hierarchy, the overall setup, the shapes and the colors, we can finally dive into the rig logic. Inside the forward solve, I start with the sequence node to make the execution order clear and easier to manage. The first thing we need to establish is the IK logic. For this, I'm using the IK2 bone node. Make sure to correctly set your axis orientation, items, both bones and the controls. One important detail. For this first step, we're not using the IK controls effector directly. Instead, we use the null we created earlier. This will give us more flexibility when adding constraints later. You can enable stretch if you need it, or even expose it through an animation channel. Next, we're going to add a parent constraint to drive the reverse foot behavior. We'll constrain the same null used for the IK to the ball control. This is what gives us the core reverse foot effect. Rotating the ball control, we naturally lift the heel and the entire foot structure. At this stage, we just need to define the rotation logic and add the toe bending behavior. Before doing that, though, we need to solve the tip control. Here we will drive the ball bone through the tip control so the toes can move independently in addition to whatever the reverse foot logic is doing. Alright, now let's handle the rotation logic. From the ball control, we want to rotate the ball bone. 
The trick is that for a reverse foot setup, we need to invert the rotation so that rotating the ball control on the x-axis lifts the entire foot in the correct direction. So after creating a get nut for the ball control and the set nut for the ball bone, I link the location directly. But for the rotation, I split the rotation values using a Euler node. This lets us isolate the x-axis so we can invert it. You can simply multiply the x value by minus 1 or use a negat node, both work perfectly. Once everything is connected, let's test our lovely ugly foot. And as you can see, the rotation is affecting the ball bone a bit too strongly. To fix that, you can just lower the weight on the set ball bone node. This gives you a smoother roll and much better control. And now everything works as expected. The IK behaves correctly, the reverse ball control drives the foot exactly the way we want, and the tip control can still independently bend the toes. Perfect. From here, you just replicate the setup on the other leg, and don't forget to add the toe control for each one. Make sure the parenting is correct, otherwise the toes won't follow the hierarchy properly. After a bit of cleanup and adjustments, our legs are fully rigged and ready to animate with the simple but effective reverse foot logic. Look at those beauties. I really wanted to offer a different, clearer way to understand the specific reverse foot setup, and hopefully it all clicks now without needing to dive too deep into complex control rig graphs. And that's it for today, I hope this video will help you build a simple but effective rig logic with a ball reverse setup in control rig. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it's important as always, and see you next week for a new one. Ciao!